Hello, we'll look into the next uh, video which is about the navigation communication tester with the different type of navigation communication tester and in this video specifically we'll be looking at the VHF radio communication. So VHF stands for very high frequency and whenever we talk about the VHF that means the frequency it varies from uh, 30 megahertz to uh, <coughs> 300 megahertz and in this specific case the aircraft communication it deals with 180 megahertz to 136 megahertz so whenever we are referring to vhf that means we are referring to a frequency range on aircraft in the specific range of 118 to 136 megahertz so how the vhf uh, communication happens so we have got the vhf communication and uh, attached to it is the antenna so this antenna it, it transmit rf signal to the uh, to the uh, vhf communication and the VHF communication now will process the signal and then the output is uh, the audio frequency which is sent to the digital uh, audio control system. Now, uh, what else we need to remember? So the VHF works on line of sight principle. So what is line of sight principle? So it is basically that, you know, the distance between the transmission and the re uh, receiver, the the distance the signal will will be uh, or the electromagnetic waves that are uh, you know that will propagate from one end to the an other end uh, is the direct path okay it is the direct path uh, so uh, that is known as the uh, line of sight now the furthest point in the line is, uh, line of sight is also known as radio horizon and there is a specific way to to uh, calculate the line of sight we have got a formula for that uh, we have got the formula for calculating the line of sight in terms of nautical miles as well as in terms of kilometer so it is uh, in terms of uh, nautical miles it is 1.23 into root over of uh, a where a stands for the the height of the antenna and in case of uh, Calculating the line of uh, sight in terms of kilometer, it is square root of one point. Uh, sorry, uh, square root of twelve point seven four six into a. In this case, again, a is the this height or the distance uh, of the uh, uh, antenna from the installation. So basically, what we found is this line of sight is actually depending on the height, square root of the height of the antenna along with some constant and that constant could vary depending on whether we are calculating the distance in terms of meter kilometer or in terms of nautical miles now this VHF uh, uh, the, the uh, signals can get affected due to the troposphere so we need to keep in mind that uh, the signal that we receive can get affected because of the uh, you know, refraction diffraction with the troposphere so there could be some error because of this refraction and diffraction with the uh, troposphere. And uh, what else we need to remember? Let's say the microphone that we are using, uh, or the pilot and the co-pilot, or the uh, flight crew that the microphone that they are using, the audio from the microphone are processed by the VHF uh, communication system, and that would emit the RF uh, energy. Radio frequency, RF stands for radio frequency energy via the antenna. Okay, so whatever we the, the sound emitted from the microphone, the audio, so that is processed by the VHF uh, communication system, and then the energy is uh, transmitted via transmit uh, via the antenna. And this energy is the RF energy, radio frequency energy. And one more thing you need to keep in mind that VHF is the first effective band in which two-way communication is possible. So VHF uh, is used for two-way communication. Two-way communication means between pilot and the ground, between one aircraft and the another aircraft. So two-way communication. So I can, I can say, you can receive, you can say, I can receive it. So the, this is the first band in the uh, in the uh, frequency range where we have got uh, a provision for two-way communication. So that is all uh, you need to uh, remember about the VHF uh, 
web band uh, or VHF radio communication. So what are the things you need to keep in mind? So what is the range? The normal VHF range is uh, 30 to 300. Aircraft specific is 118 to 136. And uh, what exactly it does, it, there is some antenna in the VHF communication system. It receives the RF uh, and then transmit uh, and then process the signal and send the signal to the audio. The output is the audio frequency and then it is sent to the digital audio co uh, control system. So that is the whole process. It works on the principle of line of sight. What is line of sight? Line of sight is the distance between uh, or the, you know, the electromagnetic wave will travel from one point to another point in direct path. And because it is traveling in the direct path, so it can also get affected from the troposphere because of the diffraction and refraction. So the error we might get in our reading is because of the diffraction and refraction by the troposphere. Line of sight, there is a specific formula to calculate the, the line of sight. It actually is depending on the height of the antenna or more specifically it is depending on square root of the height. We have, we have got different formula regarding whether we need to calculate the uh, <coughs> uh, the line of sight in terms of uh, kilometer or in terms of uh, feet. In terms of feet it is 1.23 into root over of a whereas in case of uh, the uh, kilometer it is uh, root over of 12.746 into a where a is the height. Now in terms of the microphone that we use in the uh, cockpit so whenever we speak or whatever we say so that is the audio uh, so this audio actually is pro uh, processed by the VHF signal uh, sorry VHF communication system and then the RF is transmitted via the uh, antenna and uh, <coughs> the uh, VHF radio, com radio communication system is the first band in which two way communication is possible aircraft to aircraft and aircraft to ground so I hope this uh, is, uh, or will clarify your doubt and this is uh, all you need to know regarding the VHF radio communication from maintenance uh, practice point of view bye bye